Hi crafters, this is Crafty Savvy and I'm here today to um, maybe do a little craft with me video, show you what I created and um, do do a bit of a process video, I guess. Um, it's not anything that you probably haven't seen before, but I was making them and I thought I would um, maybe turn on the camera and there might be someone out there who might like to um, to give this a try. So what I did was uh, I took a piece of ordinary, really yucky looking scrapbooking paper. Um, this was from a long time ago. So if you have old pieces of scrapbooking paper around that you don't really know what to do with, they're great for collaging because you could collage either side. You can easily cover this up. Um, but what I liked about it was it's very thin. So I found that the thinner the better because as you start to build up, you know, things get kind of thick. And if you want to use something like this for, and I'll show you in a minute what it is, but um, if you want to use something like this for your journals, then you'd like to keep it a little on the thin side. So my suggestion is just to find some very thin, this is probably about the consistency of um, a regular copy paper, maybe a little thicker, but I don't think so. Anyway, so, um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to collage both sides of this, actually. And we're going to do that together. Hopefully, I can get through it quick. But what I did was um, I collaged both sides. And then I uh, took it to my um, envelope uh, punch board. And I cut out an envelope the size that I liked. Uh, this one is a 5... Oh, let me remember an a7 which is a five and a half by seven and i thought it was a great size to be able to put into your journal you could even use it as um a, i guess a, a pocket like uh, not a pocket but sort of like a page insert um but anyway so it's it's an envelope and uh, you can see the collaging there i just did a little decorating on the front here and then uh, when you flip it over i just I was playing around with my wax seal seals uh, finally, and um, I'm not very good at all, <laughs> but uh, I, I wanted to use them on here. So I put one on there and you don't have to do that. You could use Velcro or just leave it be. I didn't seal the envelope either. So what I chose to do is instead um, just make a little booklet out of it. Uh, I just put some papers in there and you can use it that way. So inside of your journal is just um, a great way to have extra sort of um, writing space. And I just thought that was a cute idea. I'm not claiming that this is anything new, but um, I just thought it was nice with the collaging and really just turned on the camera to, to um, show you what I was up to. So I'm gonna go ahead and make another one. Um, and we'll just put this one aside. Okay, so normally what we would do is um, cut down your paper to the size of envelope that you need, but we're gonna do that last. So I'm actually going to collage this entire thing first. And then I'll show you that um, once you cut down your paper to whatever size it is that you need, you're going to be left with other pieces. And so what I love about that is that I was left with from that other um, this envelope that I made, um, I was left with extra bits so I could get two tags out of that easily. And then, you know, two journaling cards and they're already collaged. So there's no waste. And um, I'll show you once we get there. Okay, so I'm gonna, so what I did and <laughs> before we go on, one more thing was um, on this side, so the outside of the envelope, I collaged with a little bit smaller bits of paper uh, only because I could and um, it just looks nice with bits of paper. And then inside, to save a bit of time and because it's the inside, I, I tended to use like larger pieces of paper so that they covered more area. Like you can see here, that's one big piece. So I didn't really bother too much with, um, you know, trying to piece little pieces together for the inside. I just kind of went, you know, so, so that's what we're going to do. On this side here, we'll take a little bit more time 
with the smaller pieces and the other side will just go um, a little larger. So let's get collaging here. All right. So I kind of like the theme that I was going with there before. Um, I'm just going to get my, put my bits here. I hope that doesn't bother you guys. So yeah, I had a little bit of fun with uh, my wax melt. Not as easy as it looks, that's for sure. But really fun. So I have some writing here. So I'm actually just going to come on and do um, another page out of the uh, collage journal. But I just felt like doing something else. Um, there's some dictionary page. Some nice dark color pages here. I'm just gonna try to pull out a few things. Let's see if I can find some music paper really quick. There we go. All right. Let's start with that. So I'm just going to start gluing down some things. So I was on um, Facebook Marketplace, <laughs> like usual, and um, I came across um, somebody who was selling piano rolls. Um, I never really knew what piano rolls were until <laughs> I looked at a video that I think uh, Little Rhonda Lee had posted. Um, and she was using them. I, she made a beautiful project, if I remember correctly, um, using the piano roll. And I, she was just using the paper from it. And um, I was kind of intrigued by how beautiful and, you know, the paper is kind of thin and just really beautiful. So uh, when I saw... That is, this is so old that it's crumbling. Um, so when I saw that man had posted, I was kind of curious and really I only wanted a roll or two to see. And he kind of preferred that I purchase them all. So I asked him how many there were. <laughs> and he said, actually, I'm gonna just grab a box to show you. I wasn't going to show you now, but I will. Um, he said, I think, and now I don't remember exactly. I think there's 23. 32? No. I think there's 23 rolls. And I'm like, what am I ever going to do with 23 rolls? And I asked him, okay, how much? Because I had been looking and some people wanted like astronomical amounts of money um, for the rolls. And uh, I thought, you know, there's no way I could ever, what am I ever going to do with that much? Um, so originally he was asking $30. And I noticed that he had his posting up for, I think, 11 weeks. Sometimes that's a little hint too. Sometimes... People will have things up for a long time. And it's a good opportunity to uh, kind of bargain, if you can, a little bit. Because, you know, a good chance they just want to get rid of whatever it is. So I took a chance. <laughs> I And I didn't go down very much. I just, I asked him, I said, could, if I came now, could, could I get them for 25 
And he said, sure, come over right now if you'd like. So I did. My son and I jumped in the car. And luckily, it was uh, about 20 minutes away from my house. So not very far at all. Which, that was another bonus. So anyway, I got... So this is... They're all in boxes. Um, these happen to be all Waltz songs. Um, I think they're all sort of Waltz type songs uh, for the piano. And then this is what they look like really quick. This is a piano roll. And the do you hear the paper is so beautiful. And then I guess that's how the, how the music is played off of this roll. I don't know how it all works, <laughs> but I must, I'm guessing that the piano is, um, somehow um, got a place for this particular role to sit in and plays sort of via these um, cutouts in the paper. So I, I don't know. I'm going to do a little more research on that because I don't want to say something that isn't true, but I, I'm not using it for the piano. I'm using it for my crafting and this paper is gorgeous. I cannot wait to use it. And like I said, I am now the proud owner of, I believe, 23 rolls of it. So, uh, I really couldn't complain too much, considering it was $25 and not that bad. So um, I'm actually pretty excited. Oops. So yeah, that was my big excursion out today. Went a whole 20 minutes away from home, but that's good. I got out and I got something that uh, is useful for my crafting. He actually asked me, and I was kind of afraid that he, sometimes people ask me, I'll you know go and pick up the strangest things from them, and they're they're always curious to know what are you gonna do with this? And I was kind of worried because when it's stuff like this. People tend to to want to know. So first question out of his mouth was, "Huh? What? What are you? Do you have a piano that you know you can use the paper rolls for the piano?" Oh, and I didn't want to lie. <laughs> so I said, um, "No, I'm going to be using them for a different purpose." And it, he's waiting for an answer type of deal, you know. I said, um, "I don't know. I think I'm going to do something crafty with it." <laughs> and he said. Oh, that sounds interesting. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, okay, bye. <laughs> I just put them in my trunk and off I went. Uh, I didn't want to say too much more. That happened to my poor kids. Um, <laughs> when I sent them out to pick up something, it was actually um, a giant box. Of, I showed you uh, a giant box of old vintage music paper, uh, music, sheet music. So the lady was, you know, a pianist, and she <laughs> she had loads and, and loads of books, and she just wasn't playing anymore. And and um, I got the box of books for an, like an awesome price, and uh, I asked my kids to go pick it up for me. <laughs> and the first question was. Oh, do you guys play an instrument? And my kids are like, no, my mom. It's for my mom. And she's like, oh, does she play <laughs> piano or whatever? And they're like, yeah, yeah, she does. I don't. <laughs> but they didn't want to stand there and tell this poor woman that their mother was about to tear up all of her <laughs> beautiful books. So, yeah. Sometimes... Uh, don't necessarily want to be telling people what you're doing, but. Well, I guess it's better than, you know, sitting in a box somewhere and never being used for anything. I think anyways. Okay, how are we doing here? Okay, let's get some. Oh, I think I have this already. Let's get some. Um, 
I'm sorry if you hear mumbling upstairs. It, my son is upstairs and um, he's listening to something. And his room is right above my craft room, so I hear lots of mumbling, which is probably just his TV. But you know, they have to have everything loud. I don't know what that's all about, because I don't I like the quiet. Um, I'm gonna put this. Let's see. So, how's everybody been? Doing okay? Weather's a little cooler here. It dropped down. Um, I may have told you in my other video that we had a tiny bit of snow <laughs> and uh, yeah the garden survived um, a couple of plants got a little scorched kind you know from the snow and the cold but um, for the most part it was all okay, which I was very worried that everything got ruined. But we'll still, we'll see. I mean, there's plants are still standing up, right? But you never know. Everything had just been planted, so. Um, just another quick tip. Uh, also, when I'm putting down my papers, I'm, I'm putting them in different directions because when you fold up your envelope. Uh, not everything is going to be facing the, the right way when you cut it all out. So you want some things going this way and that way. Just It kind of looks a little better than having everything sort of upside down. So I don't know. I, I think just putting my papers... Oh, this one's upside down. <laughs> putting my papers um, in random... You know, putting them in random directions. It kind of helps me a little. Uh, it doesn't really matter, really, but let's see. And this is very distracting, isn't it? Some math page. So yeah, I thought I would make a few of these and just have them ready to go to put in my journals. Because, like I said, I can't stop collaging. I'm, like, really collaging everything. <laughs> so I thought this was good because I love envelopes. And I like that uh, to kind of have the best of both worlds, really. Um, let's see what other papers do I have. I love the color of this. Look at that. It's from an old magic book. And it's very, very brittle. Okay. I 
would like some more of that writing. Let me see. Got to dig through this. I'm trying to see if I have more of this. If I copied any. Of course, I probably didn't. Oh, I did. Sometimes. I love this. Uh, this is uh, some um, original ephemera that I have that I copied. I had, was given permission to use it. <laughs> so it's so pretty, her handwriting. And it's just her notes. Um, uh, someone I know, his mom passed away and these are her notes that she was taking in school. It's for history. So not really sure what it all says, but <laughs> that's what it was from. And then so if you, you notice some other stuff that I have like this, this was all her math problems um, that she was doing. There's original pieces there and some copies that I took. Um, I might use that whole piece for inside. So are you, are you guys um, collaging everything <laughs> like I am? Uh, I love it. It's fun and um, I don't know, something very satisfying about, sorry, I just put that one down in the corner for now. Kind of got ahead of myself. Uh, yeah, there's something very sort of satisfying about it. It's like you put the stuff down and you never know what you're, it's always different. You could make, you can sit here and collage, you know, 10 pieces of paper and they always come out different. And I think that's what I love the most about it. Everything looks so original. Uh, let's see. I'm looking for some more of this. grid paper, something for the corner, what can we put there, I feel like I need something a little bit more whitish in terms of color, I was looking for some white uh, music paper, this is a beautiful book too. This would be really nice to use as a cover. This is on Frederick Chopin, works for the pianoforte. Really nice. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna take this <laughs> and use it up. Corner. This um, Elmer's glue I was telling you guys about, I really don't like it. Now I'm stuck with a whole bunch of tubes of it. 
just not my thing. <sighs> but when things are closed and you can't easily go and get what you need, unfortunately, that's what you're stuck with. <laughs> Stuff you don't like. Oh my goodness, I just tore it. It's that old paper. Um, where can I put this? Oh, I think I need to go this way a little bit. So I'm not heeding my own words. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. And what else? I need. Let's get some of this. Okay. have dictionary page there already. Let's put some up there in the corner. I find this dictionary page is so thin and it just has a mind of its own. It's hard to tear. Okay, I'll go up here. Ledger paper. Put that there. I can't believe tomorrow's Monday already. Weekends go by so fast. Okay. Um, get this on here. Where I know I hate covering up that beautiful writing. There. Okay, what can we put there? Nope, there's writing there. What are we missing? Some music paper. Where's the white music paper that I had gotten out? Maybe we can go a little bit long ways with it. Yeah. Put that there. So yeah, I just t briefly touched on um, my wax melts there. Wax melts or seals, I don't know. And um, so I was playing around a little bit. I made 
I, you know, I practiced <laughs> a little bit. I'm not that good. It's very hard to get it, um, you know, so nice looking. It was fun to try. And it really makes an envelope look so cute, I gotta say. I'll put that there. And if something overhangs, um, we can, we're just going to go and cut it anyway. We're going to go and clean it up at some point. So I don't really care too much if stuff is overhanging. Okay, we got one more little block there. What are we missing? I think we need... What do we need? I would like to put maybe some graph paper there. Uh, we just need... This is graph paper. I've told you this before, I think, um, that I used uh, in school as a young girl. <laughs> and I had some of it left. How or why, I don't really know. Um, but we did. And, and I coffee stained it. And I only have a few sheets too, which is kind of sad. And I don't know where, you, this has like blue and red in it. So I don't even know if you can find anything like that anymore. I know I was listening to Roxy once was saying that um, she has graph paper with, uh, I think green lines. I think that she was saying that um, was very hard to get or that um, she was kind of sad but using it sparingly because <laughs> she couldn't get any more so I mean probably no point in doing this right now but that's fine we'll clean it up might be easier now anyway just have a couple of things overhanging so not that bad So that looks really pretty. All right, so should we continue? Should I try? Um, so like I said, on this side here, which is gonna be the inside of the envelope probably, I tend to use bigger pieces. So this might go a little more quickly. Um, bigger pieces because, not that I don't wanna say that I, I don't care what the inside looks like, but, um, You don't really need to, you know, have as many small bits to, right inside I think we just want to cover area, if that makes any sense. I just want to cover it quickly and, and that's that. So. Just going to put glue on it. I think I'm going to do something silly and just put it right there in the middle <laughs> instead of on the edge and I'll work my way out from there. beautiful handwriting piece that I really loved. Yeah, this glue goes on purple and it dries clear. I think that's the only thing I like about it is that you can see where you're gluing or not gluing. So I'm sure you guys have all seen this before, but I don't find it um, exactly uh, as sticky as I would like. I'm just going down to this edge here. Oh, 
Okay, and then I took out the dictionary page. Let's see. I didn't even read anything that I'm putting down just in case of naughty words or something. <laughs> We're just kind of going for it. And hope for the best. That up there. This will go a little quicker because we're using bigger pieces. And then you can always um, like, I'm just putting these down. And then I can always kind of put something on top if I have any kind of weird gaps, like here. hands are so gluey and this glue makes my hands dirty oh my goodness I don't know okay something there where's my music paper I know. Yep, it is. I think I can also shorten it a little. Okay. So, um, the first envelope that I made, that example that I showed you. I actually didn't do it this way. I um, I collaged one side and then I cut my envelope down, folded it all up. <laughs> and then I noticed that the inside was just sort of stark white. And then I had to proceed to collage it, um, collage, the inside while it was all cut and folded which made it a little more difficult because you know I kind of had to cut around all the edges again and so and it was okay I mean I made it work I just thought that maybe collaging both sides off the bat would uh, make it easier so I haven't tried that yet this will be you know me showing you <laughs> so hopefully it works I'm just gonna put that whole entire piece on there so what do we have left? We have a strip going down the side. Yep, that'll fit on there real good. <laughs> real good, okay. Let's see, I'll glue it over here. Like I said, what was nice about what's nice about it is that uh, you're, we'll cut down our envelope, but then you're going to have extra pieces. Oh, sorry, that's moving around so much for um, you know extra tags and some journaling cards. It's good. Nothing goes to waste. Let's get some more writing on here. No, we have writing there already. Some more math. Okay. 
Anybody else suffering with allergies? Um, I never used to so much. Um, I find as I get older, they get worse. Um, but it, uh, they're not like terrible. I get watery eyes and congestion. Like I feel like I'm always stuffed up. Um, so yeah, a little bit annoying, but Not horrible, I guess. Some people have them really bad. I guess it could be worse. But yeah, my eyes bother me a little bit. And then, uh, like I said, just congestion, really. Okay, that's that. Uh, we have a spot down here. see um, I can tear this down and make that work up there okay This one's out of an actual book. It's kind of nice to um, work on a different project. <laughs> I've been so wrapped up in my trying to catch up. The Marguerite Miller collage um, journal or book. And I feel like I haven't really been doing much else. So I need a little break from that. Okay. this off from something else but I didn't want to throw it away but I only need a little piece there so this might work I'm going to keep my bits because sometimes they come in handy for little places like that <laughs> right there Okay, and I think we just have a little bit right there left. If we could get something to go the whole way down, that would be good. Okay, so there we go. The collaging is done, so that's the inside. And understandably, the paper got thicker because now we've collaged both sides. Give myself some room here. Okay, so um, the next thing that we need to do is cut down our paper. So I had said that I wanted to do, and you could do, if you have an envelope punch board you can do cut the envelope um, to whatever size you want um, so I was gonna do an a7 uh, right there five and a half by seven so uh, we want to cut our paper down to ten and an eighth by ten and an eighth right there so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna put my ruler out to Ten and an eighth, and an eighth is just the first little small line right after the ten. If you want to know, and then you'll cut it. 
so. And then we'll turn it and we'll do the same thing, 10 and an eighth. Is that right? Because it looks like I'm stuck with different pieces this time. Ten and an eighth, I don't know. Okay, so that's that. So like now I'm, I don't know how I got those other pieces. I must have, I don't know. But now I, I have two strips, <laughs> which is fine. Um, these could probably be long sort of skinnier tags. But now I have double sided um, pieces of paper that I could use. And these two, probably I would shorten them a little, but they could be used for um, th like thin little tags or little inserts and they're all backed, which is good. So now I just wanna use my envelope punch board and we're gonna put this in at, uh, we're gonna score at four and a half. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I think this is a different size than the one I did before. Four and a half this time. Doesn't really matter. We'll see what happens. So uh, score and punch. Oh, it's hard to use this with my weak hands. <laughs> score. punch score and punch and one more score and punch okay this back so now you're left with that this was going to be the front and this is where you see where your pieces of paper have not stuck down um, just get my bone folder help me along here Some of my papers are brittle, so I can see them cracking. But doesn't it look pretty as an envelope? Okay, so now I kind of look and see which I, where I would like my flap to be. And this, I think I would like this to be my flap, only because the writing is kind of going in a good direction for me. And then when I flip this one up, this writing is kind of going in, a, in, so I'm able to read it. Um, you can use your envelope punch board to round your corners, but it's easier for me to use my corner rounder. So I round all of the corners. That's it. I'm just gonna light my, um, my candle here for the wax so that it's ready for when I need it. So I'm just gonna put it here. Hopefully I don't burn myself. Okay. So. So now you could do whatever you want with your envelope. You can seal it. Um, you could add some ink to the edges if you want um, more of a definition for your envelope. That's totally up to you. Um, I can do that after. You can also, um, yeah, this one is a little bit bigger than this one. I must have done a different size, but it's okay. 
so you, you, I mean, like I said, I'm not specifically giving you measurements because you can choose whatever size envelope you want. So again, you can seal yours. You could do what you would like with it. I'm going to add a few pieces of um, paper to mine, which now I cut down to about the wrong size. <laughs> I thought, um, I guess I could stagger them like that a little bit. Okay. Um, normally I would either sew them in or something, but I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to add the tiniest bit of glue along the top here, just this little strip of it like that, and then glue it in. Um, once it dries, and because it's inside the envelope, I'm not too worried about the pages going everywhere, but with a little bit of glue like that, it should stay down. So you could add as many papers as you want. Um, that's just some coffee stained paper that I had. This is just some uh, newsprint that I got. I'm just staggering them a little, that's all. Some more coffee stained paper. You can add as many as you want. I'm just going to put in five for now. Some more newsprint. I'll put it here. Just make sure not to go over any of your creases so that everything stays inside nicely. And this is a piece of... Um, I really don't know what it is. I've had this for a very long time. Anyway, it's very interesting. It's got a beautiful texture to it. And it's a lovely color. It's sort of natural and I just kind of like that. So yeah, so that's it. So now I got some papers inside. And that closes all up nicely. So just waiting for my wax to melt and we'll put that on. You could add, um, if you want it to stay closed, you could add some Velcro dots if you'd like there and it would stay closed. You could do what I'm about to show you and just put some wax on it. It's totally up to you or you can leave it. Um, once, I mean, you put it in something, it stays closed. You could tie a ribbon around it. Do whatever you like to keep it closed. Um, I don't know how much time we have here, but we'll see if I can't... Um, Decorate that a little. What do we want to do? Another butterfly? Oh, that's a big one. That would be pretty. Let's see if that paper would look nice under there again. I'm just going to collage a little over the collage that I've done. <laughs> just kind of like I did for this one. What did I put under there? Some book page. My glue's almost out. Come on, glue. Give me just a little more. <laughs> just going to put this here. I don't know why I always put everything sort of off to the right hand side. Maybe it's just because I'm right handed. I don't know. But I never, you know, <laughs> put anything over there. And I'll put my butterfly there. I had an iced coffee earlier, and boy, is it ever giving... I don't know, I have heartburn suddenly. Okay, I think that looks cute. I like that. And let's quickly see if I have a stamp that might go with that. No, I think we're going to go with that one. Um, I'm just putting some ink around the edges because I see some white. Okay. Okay, we'll just put the stamp up here. 
And I think my wax is ready. So that's that. I love it, it's so cute. So now I'm just gonna turn this over and I'm gonna open it up because I wanna put my wax on here. I'm just gonna get my silicone mat. And I'm gonna put the wax sort of half on and half off. Um, let me just give this a quick stir. I wish I was better at this whole wax thing, but I had a little practice and I should get better, <laughs> I hope. Okay, so I'm gonna pour half on the wax, uh, half on the paper and half onto the uh, mat here. You kind of have to work quickly. I made a lot of mistakes and then I figured out that the silicone mat is actually um, oh no, where's my silicone mat? Helps a lot. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that for a second. Blow out my candle. Are we ready? There we go. Oops, it's still not completely dry, but, and I have some air bubbles, but that's okay. A little rose, but just cook it. And that is it. So there's our little envelope, all nice and collaged, has some papers inside. We got our wax seal. That's optional, you don't have to do that. Um, we're just going to clean up these edges quickly. And let's put some glue on here. And that's it. So like I said, um, these are really cute inside of your journals or even just separately, you know, you can put some extra stuff inside and give them away as gifts or, but I think they'll be great inside little pockets um, in, the, in, in my journal for sure. So I'm going to make a few more of these. I hope you guys give it a try. They're fun, pretty simple because most of the work is in the collage and then your envelope punch board and like I said you could choose any size you'd like so um, that's it you guys um, let me know what you think and um, we will be back real soon with another project and take good care of yourselves and we'll talk to you then thanks for watching bye bye